Yes, it's an electrically assisted pedal bike. This particular model is so well made that people stop to admire its many excellent features, such as folding pedals. I have a non-nerd helmet with other stunning accessories, and although I find walking quite painful, I can still ride a bike. So, battery on and test. Neat handlebar controls. With on to basic pedal assist, or medium assist, or for steep hills, the most powerful setting. Then off. Now, come with me for a quick spin down to the sea front and back. A short bit of hill to start with, but I'm only using top gear with medium pedal assist. No strain, my legs just go round and round, the bike does the work. I can stop pedalling now and just skim along using the thumb throttle. In case you're wondering, these clips of me riding past were taken by my long-suffering life partner Angela. It was a blustery day and part of my poser outfit didn't go as planned. I'm referring to the white scarf. The inset blue screen clip which follows shows what was intended. Yippee! I'm 14 again and zoom like biggles. If you have ever dreamed of flying, this is the nearest thing while still being in contact with the ground. The surroundings just glide smoothly past as I bank around the curving highway. I must have invisible wings. Freewheeling down a pretty steep hill now, so I'm glad to have excellent brakes. Nice and level now, no pedalling. I can hum along with just short bursts on the thumb throttle. Fifteen miles an hour under power is the legal limit, but that is quite adequate.
there's always a lot to see from this part of East Cow's waterfront. At this moment, a new breakwater is being constructed whilst a variety of shipping passes on its way to and from Southampton. There's Blade Runner, transporting a new turbine blade from the factory on the River Medina. Off now on the return trip. Please stay with me, for there is a lot more to note on the way. I expect it's been noticed that this sequence was filmed over several trips. This was in order to show the various aspects of the machine. So please forgive the lack of continuity of dress and weather conditions. However, apart from one short editing cut, it is shown in real time. The bike is equipped with a Shimano six gear change lever. In fact, I seldom need to use the gears on my local hills, but it's nice to know they're available. And there's no double declutching. Returning to top gear is by means of a quick and simple press button. With such easy uphill performance, it's hard to recall that just over a year ago I had collapsed in a supermarket car park. I was out cold on the tarmac. I was rushed by ambulance to hospital and received express treatment. After three days I was on the mend, but had to undergo double injections in my belly for a week. These administered at home by Angela, who had had to quickly learn the procedure by practicing on a terrified orange. After that, I was cared for by a dedicated team of nurses at our local clinic. Anne, Jill, Helen, Sarah, Nikki, Jane. They took it in turn to treat me regularly twice a week. Who can possibly criticise the British National Health Service? The inset clip here shows the easy thumb throttle lever which snaps back when released for pedalling or freewheeling. I have reached the top of the hill and I am not at all out of breath. My legs have done a little work but that is only beneficial therapy. I can now quietly cruise home with no pedalling and just enjoy the fresh air and freedom of movement.
back home and a good time to top up the battery. The charger is quite small and easy to use. A weather cap covers the charging socket into which the plug is inserted. The mains plug is connected and switched on. An indicator light glows red until the battery is full. It then turns green as the charger automatically stops charging. The bike is then ready for the next journey. Finally, that wooden block is my own idea. I find it helps me fold and unfold the bike, which isn't done quite as quickly as shown here, but it's still pretty easy without it. I have modified a redundant office file box to slot onto the luggage rack. It is secured by the rack spring clip and three turn buttons. It even has a place for my walking stick. What a grand sight I must make as I swish past the pretty ladies of our neighbourhood. I hold my tummy in and jut my firm jaw to the fore. What words of admiration must pass their lips? Oh, look, there's that quaint old gentleman again. Bless him. Oh, well, there comes a time with certain aspects of life when one must quietly declutch and slip out of gear. Please take a look at my Facebook page which has separate albums of my various activities. And I have a couple of ebooks available for iPads, Kindle and Nook tablets, and for smartphones. This one has swift return links to my short movies, which are pertinent to the text. See how on my YouTube channel, John's Flicks, here is the other book, which is a science fiction story based on ancient lost knowledge. On John's Flick's YouTube, there is more information under the title of Secrets of the Jericho Key. And here's a quick three minute trailer showing the variety of items on that channel. Movies from over 50 years ago. See my amazing machine. Still some left. Ho, 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 the things we get up to. A nice old hobby, this. Art and alchemy. Performing the work of others and some of my own. Some treasures here. Who ever heard of a flying stone? Oh, those evil ones wanted it. I am interlaced with my wartime stories. See how it's done. Making models and watercolours. Just drowning it a little. I've made a few movies of my wartime stories. 
And I've shot a few movies of my island home. Red squirrels in our garden, sailing J-class yachts, cow's week, and the great liners that turn into Solent just down the road from where I live. If you find any of these subjects of interest, please take a look at my John Flex guide which shows you a little more detail. And thanks for watching! <laughs>